subscribe to the YouTube channel down below where it says subscribe to the channel, Allen Baby TV. If you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? You also can comment down below too. You know what I'm saying? But it's an up and coming rapper coming out of Miami, Florida. He went by him, but he went by the name of Baby Casino. Yeah, he went by the name of Baby Casino. So a lot of people don't know he died today to gun violence. You know what I'm saying? So he came. He, it was crazy though, cause he got released out of jail in Miami. He got released out of jail in Miami around like two, two thirty, two forty-five. So he went out, he got out of jail, you know what I'm saying? He got released, he got in the car with his per, his, 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 his homeboy, you know what I'm saying? He got in the car with his homeboy. Next minute, you know, the police said he was being, uh, the police said they think he was being followed, you know what I'm saying? And whoever, somebody shot the car up 40 times, allegedly. Somebody shot the car up 40 times, you know? But this is the crazy part, right? So every uh, baby casino was an up and coming rapper out in Miami, Florida, right? How the hell would a person know that you getting out of jail? Let's just a setup, nigga. Let somebody set you up, and then check this out. The person who was in the car with him, he didn't get shot. He didn't. He didn't die. He just got. He got. He didn't. He didn't die. He didn't get hit or nothing. The nigga didn't get hit. His, person, his homeboy didn't get hit, but only Baby Casino got hit. He got hit. Man, you know what I'm saying? He died. He got hit in his head, hit in his side, and I think in his lower side. You know what I'm saying? That's fucked up, man. You know what I'm saying? But I want to, um, you know, say rest in peace. Rest in peace to Baby Casino, man. My prayers go out to him and his family and his loved ones. I don't know the rapper. You know, I just know he's an up-and-coming rapper out of Miami, Florida. It's just sad every day, man. We see up-and-coming rappers getting gunned down for nothing. They getting killed for nothing. For nothing. When I say nothing, I mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. You get gunned down for nothing. You ain't like, it's crazy. Like, you ain't even got to be, you ain't got to do nothing. Nigga, try to take your life. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even got to do nothing. Nigga, try to take your life. You ain't even got to, uh, shit. Post on the gram, a nigga try to take your life. You know what I'm saying? You post on Facebook, a nigga try to take your life. Like, it's crazy, man. It's like the world is coming to an end. You know what I'm saying? That's what it looked like, the world coming to the end. You know what I'm saying? Like, Baby Casino got out of jail. He got out of jail. He got released today around like, uh, he got released um, today around like 2, 2.30, How the hell? 3 o'clock, he ended up dead. So, that was a setup, right? That was a setup. And the person who was driving... His partner was driving. The person who was driving didn't get hit. He didn't get killed. He didn't get struck by a bullet. But they say the car was shot over 40 times. They said the car was sprayed over 40 times. So if the car was sprayed over 40 times, ain't no way, nigga, your partner should have got, your partner should have got some bullets in him too. Ain't no way this one person get killed. Come on, bro. Ain't no way. It's time for black people to wake up. It's time for everybody to wake up. That shit was a setup, my nigga. That shit was a setup. That was a back door. Nigga, they knew what time he gonna be out of getting released. They knew where he gonna be. Uh, they knew what car he gonna be in. And they knew where to shoot. <clears throat> and they knew where to drive up at. You know what I'm saying? To just get him. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna fuck the driver. We ain't gonna get the driver. We just gonna get him. That shit is a setup. That shit is a back door, bro. Like... You know, that shit's sad, bro. You know what I'm saying? Sad, bro. It's just like, it's just like, it's not safe to be a rapper nowadays, bro. It's like, it's not safe to be a rapper. I don't care where you rapping from, where you coming from, where you from. You could be from Los Angeles. You could be from Tacoma. You could be from New York. You could be from L.A. You could be from Bompton. You could be from, um, you could be from, uh, Seattle. You could be from wherever you could be. It's not safe to be a rapper. No matter what, it's not safe to be a rapper. It's unsafe to be, it's it, it's not safe to be a rapper. It's unsafe to be a rapper. You know what I'm saying? It's like, man, that's crazy, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this young black man didn't know, like, this gonna happen today. He got released out of jail for a gun charge. He went to jail for a gun charge. It ain't like, the, it, ain't like it ain't like he went up in there. It ain't like he told on somebody, allegedly. It ain't like he told on a nigga. He went from a gun charge on his own. They arrested him and they um, charged him with a gun. Like, he went down for his own case. So, like, why would somebody want to set him up and kill him? 
Like, that's crazy, bro. But I'm going to tell you again, we don't know what all rappers do in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Some rappers do certain things. We don't know what all rappers do in the streets, you know? For real, you know? And then some people want to know, is you really about that life? If you rap about it, some people really know and want to know, is you about that life, you know? Because, you know, is, is this, you know, some people really want to know, is that is this shit you were talking on that song, is that shit real or is that shit fake or is that shit play play? You know, everything, everything a rapper rap on their song, they got to mean that shit. Because some niggas going to try to run up, nigga, and, and, and test them. You know, somebody going to try to run up and test you, nigga, test your gangster test, or test it all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody, some people going to try to test that shit. Mm-hmm. And it's just sad, you know. It's, it's just very sad, man, you know. <laughs> like, he was a young rapper, man, coming out of Miami, Florida, bro. Coming out of Florida, just trying to put on, he was just trying to rap and support his family, support his, um, support his relatives and shit. And he lost his life to gun violence, bro. Lost his life to gun violence. He didn't know when he get out of jail, get released, he didn't know he gonna get killed. Nobody know that. Nobody know when you, um go somewhere you could go outside nobody don't know you ain't gonna get killed like that's sad bro he ain't even had a chance nigga to defend himself to fight back you know what i'm saying because he didn't have no weapon you know what i'm saying but that's why you gotta always always watch the niggas who you kick it with you gotta watch the niggas who you kick it with you gotta watch the crowd you kick it with you gotta watch the people you associate with like with because everybody is not your friend everybody is not your friend it's people out there that want to set a nigga up there's people out there want to set a nigga up for small change. There's niggas out there want to backdoor a nigga. And it's just ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to Young Dolph. You see what Young Dolph, look. Now more stuff came out in Young Dolph case said he'd been shot over 22 times. You know, that's just crazy, bro. It's crazy. It's like a person can't be a rapper because you got to walk around with a, you got to walk around with a pole. You got to walk around with that thing on you 24-7. You got to watch this way, that way, this way, that way, this way, that way. You gotta watch your, your back all the time. So it's just like, man, it's unsafe to be a rapper, man. You know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to pay my respect, man, to Baby Casino. Rest in peace to that young black man who lost his soul today, man. You know, he in a better place now. You know, my prayers go out to his family. You know, it's just sad when black people keep dying for gun violence. It's like, man, we got to stop killing each other, man. We got to stop killing each other. We got to stop killing each other. We got to stop uh, hating on each other. We got to stop backdooring each other. We got to stop setting each other up. Like, we got to stop fighting over women. We got to stop fighting over money. We got to stop fighting over um, iPhones. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be, killing, niggas be killing each other over iPhones, too. Shit. Man, it's crazy. It's wicked. You know what I'm saying? It's wicked in the world. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, I'm just saying, man, black people got to start using their heads. We got to get smarter. We got to get smarter. We got to use our head. We got to use our minds. You know what I'm saying? We got to be smart instead of being stupid. We got to be role models. You know what I'm saying? We got to be role models. We got to we gotta grow. How can you say you want to grow, but you're still doing the same shit you was doing last year? How, how a person going to say they want to grow? But they still hanging around with them loser niggas they've been hanging around with. You know what I'm saying? Or how can a nigga say they want to grow, but they still messing around with that bucket head ass girl? You know what I'm saying? The girl keep on throwing a nigga in jail. So how can you going to say you said you want to you want to grow, but you keep messing around with the same female and she keep on pitting you in the jail, but you still keep on going back to her. You know what I'm saying? You can't grow by that, you know? So black people need to wake up. We need to wake up, man. But yeah, man, like I said, baby, because, you know, he was, he was set up, you know what I'm saying? He was set up, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, he's an up-and-coming rapper coming out of Miami, Florida, you know what I'm saying? He could rap, but, you know, he was out there making them songs, you know, diss songs and stuff. You know, you can't diss the dead, you can't diss the ops, you can't do that, man, because people will catch up with you, you know what I'm saying? It's called karma. What you do in the streets always come back and get you. It always come back and get you. I think about it. What you do in the streets is always come back. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it come back 10 times strong. Sometimes it come back 20 times strong. Sometimes it come back 100 times strong. You know, what you do in the streets is always going to come back on you. You know what I'm saying? That's why niggas got to have clean slates and, and a clean heart. You know what I'm saying? You got you to make your peace with God. You got to make your peace with God. You know what I'm saying? You 
got to ask God for forgiveness. You know what I'm saying? That's why you always got to stay prayed up. Keep God in your life. A person who who don't believe in God ain't going to make it nowhere in life, you know? But, yeah, just subscribe to the YouTube channel down below. Island Baby TV. I do this for y'all. I love y'all.